We're so glad to have with us Senator Elizabeth Steiner Hayward, all the way from the great state of Oregon. Uh, today we have released a telehealth report from the National Conference of State Legislatures. Senator, thank you so much for joining us today. Happy to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about the NCSL partnership project on telehealth? Sure. This was a project that brought together people from healthcare and from industries related to um, technology all the, and legislators to talk about ways to improve access to telehealth across the United States, thinking about things like reimbursement, patient safety, credentialing, technology, all the important areas that we need to consider in this arena. So with this project, uh, they uh, of course recently released and completed a report. Can you give us some highlights of that publication, please? Absolutely. One of the things we talked about a lot was thinking about ways to ensure that credentialing is done in the right way. We need to be sure that practitioners, doctors, physician assistants, nurse practitioners who use telehealth aren't constrained by a particular location. For example, they shouldn't have to be in a hospital or the patients shouldn't have to be in the hospital. We want to develop policies that allow patients and healthcare providers to use telehealth in the most appropriate settings for whatever kind of care is being delivered. You really bring a unique perspective in this in the sense that you are a family uh, physician. Uh, can you give us a little bit more or uh, briefly tell us about the impact that, that telehealth, uh, telehealth has had on your practice and your patient's health? Absolutely. Well, we're not doing direct face-to-face -face telehealth in our practice yet, but we are doing an awful lot via secure electronic communication. Let me give you an example. If I have a patient who's got a busy life and um, we're trying to make sure that his blood pressure is under control, I start him on a new medication and he takes blood pressure readings at home. He can send me a secure communication that gets directly entered into his electronic health record showing what his blood pressures are. I can then look at them and say, hey, those look pretty good, let's stick with this regimen, or gosh, your blood pressure is a little too high, let's bump your dose up but I can send that message back to him in a secure way on my time schedule and he can get it on his time schedule. He doesn't have to wait for a time that's mutually convenient to come into the office to get that care which can be delivered just as well asynchronously via telehealth. Senator Steiner Hedward, thank you so much for joining us and of course this report is available on our website www.ncsl.org. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me.